Okay, so today I'm going to continue with the um, Alice Cooper album reviews. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about Alice Cooper's uh, second uh, studio album. It's called um, Easy Action. So it's a psychedelic rock slash hard rock, acid rock slash acid rock, and garage rock album which was released on March 27th of 1970. Um, so this here is um, compared to the, the debut album that I done, that I posted the other day. Um, this one here is more kind of, I find this um, album here more heavier than, um, than the debut album. Um, so, um, this actually is, um, uh, I would say, um, not, uh, I would say that this album compared to the debut album, I say this album is, I would say better than the, um, debut album, but, um, around this time, this was his second album, um, so he wasn't, I say around his third album was around the time he got more, popular around that time he started getting more popular so they're like this album here was released on March 27th of 1970 um, so the songs on the album include Mr. and Misdemeanor the 2 minute and 58 second song Shoes Salesman the 2 minute and 32 second song, Still No Ear. The 6 minute and 41 second song, Below Your Means. Return of Spiders. The 2 minute and 2 second song, Laughing At Me. The 1 minute and 54 second song, uh, refrigerator Heaven, um, Beautiful Fly Away, and the very last song on this album is the 7 minute and 36 second song, Lay Down and Die Goodbye. Um, so I found this album here, a lot of short songs on this album, um, but um, this album here actually is like I say, it's not, it's not as, not the best album, um, I would have to say, you know, not their, but I would say until their next album came out, that's when they kind of became more, like, uh, more popular, um, around the time when that came out, um, but this album here, I have to say, compared to the other one, this album here is probably a little bit better, um, and the other one. Um, it still has that psychedelic uh, style to it, psychedelic, you know, compared to the other the other one, the debut album, also was kind of like that. Um, so, um, yeah, it's, it's um, not a bad, bad, um, bad album. Um, but, um, yeah, this album here, I'd say, you know, say, it took them both three albums in to kind of become um, more pop, you know, pop become popular around the uh, third, the uh, very, the third album um, was around, around the time when he um, started becoming big, popular, very popular, the band was starting to, you know, um, around that time. Um, so if you think about it, it really didn't take him that long, it took him so it's, you know, third album. Um, other bands usually it takes eighth, ninth album or whatever until they um, start becoming quite popular, quite big, you know what I mean? Um, and then some it's like their first album. But no, um, this album here, um, not a bad album actually. Um, so comment down below, let me know what you think of the album, if it's, you know, if you're and also, um, comment down below, let me know what your favorite album of um, Alice Cooper is. Um, 
interesting to find out. Um, I go through the songs again. There's um, Mister and Misdemeanor, um, Shoes Salesman, Still No Ear, Below Your Means. Return of Spiders, Laughing at Me, Refrigerator Heaven, Beautiful Fly Away, and the very last song on this album is Lay Down and Die Goodbye. So, um, yeah, this album here is um, has that psychedelic rock style, acid rock, hard rock, you know, garage rock um, to it, all those four um, styles all together in this album. Um, so it's, yeah, it's great, great, you know, I like that kind of stuff, different compared to his later stuff, you know, it's kind of just strictly uh, hard rock, you know. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, his early second album, right, you know. Um, but anyways, um, let me know what you think of this. Give this a thumbs up. Also check out Alice Cooper. I did one not the uh, not long ago. The other day it was, um, which I posted. Yeah, which was his. Um, it would be his debut album. Um, Alice Cooper's debut album is called Pretties for You. So um, if you're just watching this video right now, uh, make sure to uh, check that one out after you're done watching this one. Um, so, um, the next album I'm going to be talking about will be his third uh, studio album. Um, it's called Love It to Death. And this time, around this time, um, this, this was when he um, got, more, um, got more popular, I found, around this time. He got popular um, with this album. And, um, yeah, from there until, you know, that's when he started becoming quite big. You know, they started becoming popular, becoming noticed around the world, you know. Um, but the first two albums, um, not so much, you know, but that was, you know, those two albums there weren't his best albums. Um, but they're, you know, not bad albums, um. But yeah, this one here was when he started breaking out. When he started, when they started becoming more, the band started becoming more popular. Um, I think around the world, you know, they started becoming quite big. So um, that's the next one I'm going to be talking about. So like I always say, uh, give this a thumbs up, comment down below, and um, hope you uh, like this video. And um, thank you for watching. And uh, bye. Oh, make sure to put a thumbs up and uh, always remember to subscribe and uh, check out other album reviews um, by, um, if you like the band Chicago, check that out, or Bob Seger. Um, and um, yeah, so many more videos, so give this a thumbs up, uh, comment down below. Always remember to subscribe. All you people that subscribed to me so far, thank you very much. And uh, bye.